plastic shopping and it's really hard. Like everything that you want to get is in plastic. It's kind of ridiculous. So I actually had a big challenge. Um, even like basics of like rice and pasta was a bit of a challenge. So yeah, I really don't know how people do that. I don't think I could do this for uh, any more than probably today. So we'll see. my vegan, low waste, low plastic grocery haul. I uh, got a few items and I realized that it's really challenging to buy things low plastic, you know, without plastic. A lot of the basic stuff that you'd expect comes in plastic, so it's really hard to work around that. Um, but you know, I, I made do, I got a, got a few things which I'll take you through in just a second. Um, and maybe towards the end of the video, I'll give you some tips, things that I learned um, for next time. So yeah, let's get to the items. Uh, before we get started, here's kind of the receipt with the overview of everything. Um, I ended up spending around $58, so that is kind of the price range for everything that you'll see today. Um, and we'll kind of go into more of a price breakdown uh, later in the video. All right, so uh, this is kind of the overview of what I got in a different, uh, more organized fashion, not like a vegetable produce man person. Starting just on the right here, I got um, a bunch of these white mushrooms, a few of them here. Uh, so yeah, it's not too bad. Next up, we have a bunch of potatoes. So I got these uh, two or three of these kind of white russet uh, style baking potatoes. And then I got a few of these red uh, potatoes. So, you know, those are good. You can kind of, um, you could saute them or you kind of boil them. All right, in terms of the avocado department, um, so No Frills has like these uh, bags of avocados that are a lot better of a deal. Um, I think they're called like naturally imperfect because they aren't quite the marketable creme de la avocado creme of the avocados, so they're a bit cheaper. Um, but unfortunately, those are in kind of a plastic mesh bag, so I did have to go for these ones, which are loose, you know, bulk avocados, a bit more expensive, but uh, they may taste better. So, you know, we'll see how those, how those taste. And we got one of these big sweet potatoes, yams. I know there's a difference, but I do not quite know. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty huge. That will definitely need some baking or something like that. Uh, Bit of a long cook, it's pretty pretty sizable. And got the onion, of course, you know, just for a bit of saute, olive oil, garlic, onions. I saw this just kind of loose. I was like, oh, a cucumber that's not in the one of those plastic sleeves. So I thought that was kind of interesting, but you know, I'm not too sure what I'll do with this, but you know, uh, a salad, I guess. And uh, green bell peppers, yeah, why not? Just have those. And I got a bunch of kale, like a literal bunch of kale. Yeah, you know, just kale, what else do you say? Has one of these little, wrapper things, which you'll notice a lot of the food does have, you know, they have stickers, they have um, more stickers. All right, I got two bunches of bananas because they are cheap, really easy to eat, and uh, you know, they're just pretty tasty. Got a bunch of green onions, which again, I think that'll be good, those would be good on the baked potato or maybe with like the mushrooms and stuff like that. So yeah, good option here. Right, so now starts like the less low waste part of the shopping trip. So I got these um, slow cooked beans. I don't know, I thought I'd just try them. They're kind of like just beans with in sauce already, so maybe an easy meal. And I just got a bunch of standard black beans. What are these? Hard to cook. Uh, they're just black beans. Silly French. Chickpeas. More chickpeas. Got some crushed tomatoes, tomatoes. Got some more tomatoes. Got, of course, had to get a soy milk, which, uh, yeah, this is not zero plastic. This is for sure low plastic because that's plastic and I'm sure the carton is like not ideal from a whatever perspective. All right, and uh, spaghetti, yeah. So I was looking at even the rice had a, uh, it comes in bags, like a plastic bag. So I think that's another pretty prohibitive aspect of it is that some of the basic, um, the most base type of foods you cannot get without plastic. So, I mean, getting rice, uh, okay. At the place I went to, you couldn't get some of the basic stuff without plastic, I know for sure. If there's a bulk section, you can just bring your own container and load up on rice. Um, but here I compromised. Uh, Got this Yeti, which is in a box, so it's paper, but it has this little window because, you know, how else will people know what they're buying unless they can see through the little plastic window? Yeah. 
All right, and finally, I did get rice in a box. Um, although I have a sneaking suspicion that it is not just in the box. I hope there's a bag inside because rice dust and stuff, but uh, actually no, let's find out. All right, will this rice have plastic? We will find out in just a second once I open the box. Okay, what do you all think? Take a guess. All right, you got it? Yes, you are right. Whoa, all right, even made a bigger mistake here. Look at this. Not one plastic bag. Not two plastic bags. Not even three plastic bags. Four plastic bags, wow. Look at this, all this plastic and rice and minute rice. Why did you do this to me? Why? All right, I was checking the box to see if it said something about the plastic being like bioplastic, but uh, of course not. It says pre-portioned bags for convenience and freshness. Uh, but yeah, oh hey, at least it has this stupid GMO butterfly. All right, so there are all the items that we got in that little vegan, low waste, low plastic grocery shop from No Frills in Canada. Yeah, if you don't have a No Frills near you, I'm sure all the grocery stores are pretty standard and also the challenges are pretty standard. Um, some of the challenges that I ran into in terms of getting rice, as you saw, um, or getting some of the basic stuff like bread, um, kind of the basic carby stuff, kind of things that I would consider staples in my pantry, my refrigerator. Yeah, those are the things that I had trouble with. And those are pretty big challenges, especially it depends on how you eat. I understand if you eat a lot more raw foods, a lot more produce, a lot kind of quote unquote healthier, then it probably will be easier. Um, but for someone who is used to having, you know, just rice to be able to cook, who can open a package of tofu, I did found it pretty challenging to um, deal with those kind of restrictions in terms of the packaging, the plastic, all that stuff. Um, so in that sense, I would probably say this is maybe something to layer on to veganism. I don't think I would pitch it as hand in hand. Um, also, I haven't quite seen the total benefits of avoiding packaging or plastic um, in proportion to avoiding animal products. Like, you know, there's certain animal products that are really harmful and you know have a measurable harm to animals. It is just less clear to me how avoiding maybe a plastic bag what is that avoidance going to have in terms of a benefit or like a reduced harm to others? I think that's just a lot less clear. Obviously we see videos of animals getting trapped in garbage and stuff like that. And it's really upsetting. In terms of avoiding packaging, it's just not totally clear what that impact is. I'm sure it is positive, um, but the question is how positive and maybe our energy should be spent elsewhere. Uh, but yeah, so I think um, that was a pretty good experience. I think it really gave me a lot to think about in terms of the challenges that are uh, out there in terms of promoting this kind of lifestyle. Um, I think there are grocery stores that probably make it easier to shop in this way than others. Well, I know there's two low waste grocery stores near me. Um, well, not actually near me. It would be about an hour bike ride each direction to get there. I know there are even grocery stores that have more bulk sections where you can bring your containers and you know, fill up on rice or whatever you, you need. Um, and that's, that seems pretty cool. So, you know, I'm not, um, I do support that kind of stuff. Um, the question is just accessibility, um, convenience and trade-offs in terms of your time, uh, your energy and your resources um, to shop in this way. So that was my video about shopping low waste, low plastic. Hey Johnny. Yeah, you're hungry too? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I gotta go feed this little guy. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, um, feel free to subscribe, um, leave a comment and suggestions about how to shop this way, um, and yeah. Alright, alright, okay, time to get to feed you. Jeez, so demanding. Johnny, is it true cats are afraid of cucumbers? <laughs>